Hello everybody, I am James Lieutenant here on the 103.7 The Fam. I'm alongside Eli and Leo. We are go Today we're going to be talking about the NFL suspensions in the NFL, how Aaron Rodgers and the Jets are going to do, and will Tom Brady make another comeback. If you want to call in for us, the number is 363-454-5421. Let's start with you, Eli. What do you think of these overwhelming amount of suspensions. Yeah, I personally think that Calvin Ridley was suspended for way too much time, placed a couple bets. And when you put it to comparison with something, someone like Deshaun Watson, who had multiple cases of proven evidence that he sexually assaulted many women, it's just like, and he got 11 games and Calvin Ridley got a whole year. I really don't see that as fair. I feel like Deshaun Watson's punishment should be equal even or greater than Calvin Ridley's punishment. I kind of agree with that. There are players who I feel like should be suspended much longer than what they have. And some players who I think have gotten the right amount of games and uh, some players who I think should maybe even have less games just compared to other players. Yeah, there is that argument of the, the weighing of how long do we give this player on um, what we know. So it's the NFL is struggles with it it seems to be able to successful they seem to they commonly will either misplace it or sometimes they get it right on like with the, all the stuff happening with Watson all this, all that kind of stuff the thing is you, ha you have only seen cases been presented you haven't seen anything fall through with them so I think the NFL is right there but also it's kind of it's not a coincidence that he landed to come back and play against the Texans. We have our first caller, uh, Gabe from Green Lane. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hey, my name is Gabe, and I'm from New Jersey. I'm a big fan of your guys' show. Thank you. Of course. I have a question. Do you guys think Deshaun Watson, with his 11-game suspension and $5 million fine, was, in fact, the correct suspension? Uh, who wants to start with that? Yeah. I believe that the suspension would have been better if it was a whole year. I believe that if there's so much evidence that he did all this stuff, I feel like he can't play that year. I feel like he has to be out for that entire year, I believe. Yeah. I, I think that, yes, that was his suspension, like, and what he did was not called for, and 11 games can be long, but I kind of agree with Eli, but also with the fine, it kind of balances out. See, I think on this scenario, I think the I think they should have added a game or two on it, but because he's not been convicted or anything pressed more of it, I think 11 is right, but I do think the should have been a larger fine, especially for a fact that then instantly after he got this massive deal that then allows him to co uh, cover it up. up. Well, that's all the time we have today. I'm signing off here, James, for, alongside Eli and Leo. We'll see you next time.